Whoa. Okay. Whoa, don't want to get caught in those propellers. Oh, there's that dialogue again, so... I should have had a side foot on this thing. Son of a bitch, John C. You see them Peggy's take off of my plane? I need it back. That was our only chance of getting out. I'd go myself, but my wife's pregnant and due any second, and I just don't know what I'm supposed to do. I mean, without that plane, we're fucked. Please, I, my family needs your help. I'm sorry. I don't like getting emotional. Name's Nick, by the way. Look. If I know the cult, they've taken my plane to John Seed's range. It's got the only other airstrip big enough to land the thing. I know it's a lot to ask, but I'm desperate, partner. You got it, I'll help. I got nothing else better to do. Oh wait, I forgot to take the mission. Silly me! I'll give I'll give you a hand. Hang on, I gotta do a thing though. I should really get that. I should really get that torch. We're on the same side. Yeah, I'm aware of that, but how else am I gonna afford to get the crap I need to, you know, actually kick butt at this game? How about that, huh? Did you think about that? Good grief. I just... Shit. I keep blowing up all the vehicles. Oh well, I can get to the... get to that ranch. Get this shit back. And all will be right with the universe. <laughs> I hope. What the hell? Is that an... Oh, it was another plane. That's, yeah, it's just, like, those things just floating above me. I, I probably should do a little bit of hunting, but... I, I, usually in past games, I would just spend, I, I would do, like, a couple hours of the story, and then sidetrack for a couple... Wait, what? Oh, so they're... Oh, so enemies are trying to ambush me for a story thing. Now, now I get it. Yeah, I found that kind of weird, like, oh, right, so you get enough progress, and then you get to... So then you trigger a story moment, like, okay, that's interesting. I'm faster. I should have got... You're not hitting me. I got stuff to do. Yeah, well, you're not gonna, cause I'm I'm too I'm too badass. <laughs> we need a That's an in. Just one push bullet will do it. Don't lose him. Ah, 
Ah, shit. No! That's what I get for fighting back. <laughs> oh, crap. Ah, uh, damn it. They got me. Like, I'm a, fi I'm a natural, like, naturally I'm just a fighter, so of course I'm not going to let them just, I'm not going to go down without a fight, but at the same time I know, oh, oh that's what's going to trigger the next story, that. That's very strange, but interesting. That is not the will of the father. Take them to John. He's ready to hear their confession. I find it interesting how they wrote the entire script around, um, say, how they wrote it around safe pronouns. It's like, oh, we're not gonna make some slight changes to the dialogue if you're male or female. It's like, oh, we're just gonna use very, very open pronouns. Oh! Oh, shit. What the hell is this? Should I be scared? I don't feel scared. My parents were the first ones to teach me about the power of yes. One night they took me into the kitchen and they threw me on the ground. And I experienced pain after pain after pain after pain. After pain. <laughs> And when I didn't think I could take any more, I did. Something broke free inside. I wasn't scared, I was clear. I looked up at them. I started to laugh. All I could say was, yes. I spent my entire life looking for more things to say yes to. I opened every hole in my body, and when those were filled, I created more. But it was Joseph who showed me just how selfish I was being. Always receiving, always taking. But the best gift isn't the one you get, it's the one you give. Giving takes courage. Courage to own your sin, to etch it onto your flesh and carry its burden. And when you have endured, when you have truly begun to atone, to cut it out like a cancer and display it for all to see. That's crazy. I'm going to teach you courage. Teach you how to say yes. So you can confront your weaknesses, confront your sins. You will swim across an ocean of pain and emerge free. For only then can you truly be. What the hell? <laughs> so who wants to go first? Hmm? Which one? Yes. Yes. You're not gonna regret this. I promise. Now before we begin, I think it's only proper that Deputy Hudson goes back to her room. Confessions are meant to be private after all. I am not here to take your life. I'm here to give it to you. I'm going to open you and pour. 
or your worst fears in sight. And as you seek, your sins will reveal themselves. And only then will you truly understand the power of yes. I'll be right back. Oh my god. Okay, so... Did I make the right call? Because I feel like that's a decision that's building up to something, right? Like I, like I, I accept to make my confession and then. God damn it! How do I? Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. Cool. I'm getting the hell out of here. Cause yeah, that's what I thought it was, right? Building towards, right? Like I accept to do my confession first and experience the suffering, so she doesn't have to. That's what I'm. That's what I think that is, and this is gonna hurt. Oh. Ah! Uh. Yeah, I just got out of the chair, so... Get the hell out of here. Guns around here? Nope, no guns. Fine. Oh wait, now that I'm thinking about it, maybe I didn't make the best choice, the right choice or something, because, then again, because at the beginning of the game it says, like, sometimes the best thing to do is nothing, but maybe that was for the, I, I'm, I'm honestly not sure. Got a gun. Okay. Weed. That wasn't too bad. Cause I don't care.
Hey, what the hell? Maybe. So I'll indulge you. Become wrath. Let it fill your body and consume your soul because in the end you'll still be empty. And I'll be waiting right here. We both will. What the shit? Oh crap. Bunker door closing. Give them all the wrath they can handle, brothers. Say yes. I will give my life in the name of the Father. So what is that like I'm trying to think, is this building towards like different decisions or Like, yeah, I'm trying to wonder, is that building towards, like, a much larger scale decision, or is... Oh, God. Your sin blinds you to all the harm you Oh, God! Allows you to dispense of human life so easily. Have you ever given so much as a second thought to killing? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering, is, like, is this building towards a much larger decision in the story, or... Drive the center from this place. <sighs> Damn it. Let them run. Let them Messed run. it up. I'm thinking like, okay, maybe it's scripted or something. I'm not sure. Screw the roads. I'm getting the hell out of here. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Come on, come on. Holy shit, kid. I've been trying to reach you. I heard you on that. I'm glad you made it out. Alive. I'm sorry about Hudson. There's not much we can do without John's key. You're gonna have to lure him out. You figure the best way to do that is to burn his whole fucking operation to the ground. So get to work. Okay. I can do that. I just... Holy shit. <laughs> that was kind of tense. It would be kind of crazy if I didn't investigate this cave. Oh wait, that's not a cave. I'm stupid. Oh wait, I've already been here. Take a look at the map. Okay, so I fast travel back to Yeah, I'm gonna fast travel back to that point. And then I'll take and then I'll do the mission, but man, that was Okay, so I yeah, I'm still very curious. Like, is this a script? Is that an entirely a scripted thing, or yeah, is, is or is there something, or is there more to it? Is it just like, oh, this is the story telling you, oh, no matter like based on what the path you're taking and towards Eve's Gate, like that automatically makes you wrath, or if, depending if you take different actions, will that mean something else? I'm honestly, I'm honestly not sure. So that, I find that interesting. Oh wait, I need to... Yeah, I kinda can't do this without guns, so... Ah, shit. Just, wait, is there any way I can get access to weapons here? No, there isn't. So let me go back to a place where I can get weapons. Yeah, 
Okay, yeah, I'm not doing too well at this. But yeah, I'm really intrigued by that. Yeah, again, if you read into the... It's kind of like if you get past the, fa uh, the, the premise of the game at face value and really get into the context of what's going on here, you'll realize, oh, there's a lot more going on here than just the basic ideas of religion and this cult that's using a lot of um, these different ideolog um, ideologies sort of kind of rolled into one as part of their what they're doing. And you get the feeling that this is all still smoke and mirrors. There's very there's a lot more to it than just, oh, we're trying to save people from the end of days and everything. Like, no, there's there's clearly more to it, and I'm and I'm intrigued by that. So I need to get my guns back. I wonder. Yeah, that's yeah, that's only entirely reserved for the hand, for handguns. Yeah, I'm so used to kind of having like uh, in previous games are just kind of be like top, bottom, left, and right. Uh, my top slot would be reserved for a handgun. My bottom would be reserved for my sort of assault rifle. Left it would be for my long range, and then right would be for my heavy. So this is kind of like, all right, there's a bit of a, it's, it kind of throws the orientation off a little bit, but it's fine. It's fine. No big deal. That's okay. Okay, now I can fast travel back over here, and then I will make my way over to get Rise plane back. Oh, good God. Yeah, I'm really liking the, where things are going, uh, the direction the story's really taking right now. That's, that's very interesting stuff. I personally am not a very, uh, I'm not a, or I think I'm, a, I'm, I mentioned at the beginning of the playthrough, I'm not a religious person myself, but I find that stuff fascinating when used in a sort of distinct way. Yeah, the way I see it is kind of like, oh, if you're doing something interesting with it on a, from a narrative perspective, it's, there's nothing really offensive about that. It's just, oh yeah, you wanted to take something that you, you're just taking something that you guess does exist, but are doing something but are doing something very new and different with it that it, you know you could be look you can look at it as, as art and not really look at it as a sort of anything offensive really that's just how i see it i get there are probably lots of other people <laughs> that are in the uh, minority about this But then again, this game did actually make a break a lot of did break a lot of records for actually. I want to. I'm gonna get the perk for my swim speed. Boop. I see it. I see it. There. Oh, selfish. Yeah, I definitely need to. Like yeah, this game um, pretty much broke big is pretty much one of Ubisoft's best-selling games. So that clearly says that there not only was demand from the bit from the uh, from the large fan base, but <laughs> pretty sure there are a lot of new people that were like, "Hey, this actually looks really cool. I want to play this." Or it could have easily just been a lot of people that are like, "You know what? I'm gonna spite people that are uh, that are some for, that are for some reason offended by this and just enjoy it." And I mean, I really wouldn't know what the reason are. I reason would be I'm a huge fan of this series, so 
I was obviously the second Ubisoft announced, oh yeah, we're doing Far Cry 5 is definitely is a reality, it's definitely happening. Oh, I think, yes, I can't wait to play this. I, I played the absolute nonsense out of 3 and 4, and I played through Primal at least once. And it's, yeah, it, it, this is one of my favorite game series, and I could not really imagine being with, could not really imagine living in a world without, uh, without a kick-ass open world franchise like this. Because, yeah, this is my favorite. This is actually, this is my not only my favorite first-person shooter, but is also my favorite open world game. I mean, yeah, I do like a lot of other open world games, but this has to be my favorite. This is the one that I really take a lot of time to explore and get just sucked up in all the uh, all the activities that are available to you. I'm not demonstrating that in this case because it's kind of a different beast here. So, as much as I will love to explore the countryside, I'm just enjoying the, the story.